the New York Knicks. Um, you know, it lasted one season uh, before you were let go. Uh, obviously, the season didn't turn out well with, the, I think, it being the team's worst record in 20 years. What happened there? We were a bad team. Look at the roster. I mean, it was a bad team. Um, and when you're a coach, you are what your record is. And I did all the wrong things. Um, I didn't establish a relationship with the owner, James Dolan. Um, he wanted to win in the worst way. He really gave, tried to give me every opportunity, every resource to be good. Um, I went through Isaiah Thomas. Um, and I think that the messages that James Dolan was getting back about me were not entirely true. Mm. Um, I inherited some guys on my staff other than Herb Williams that, you know, I thought made it difficult for me. Herb was great. I, I never ever, you know, would build a staff with people other than guys that loved me, that cared for me, that respected me. Um, How did that impact your relationship with Isaiah? Um, I thought I had a great one with him. I admired him. I, I was one of the coaches in 1980 when he made the Olympic team. I don't think there was a more, you know, a better player um, than him. I th he was special. I admired the way he played. But, you know, working for him, he had a whole different personality than the one that I had learned to respect and admire. Um, and it was very uncomfortable for me. You can't be a coach and have the GM involved with your players, involved with your coaches. You gotta be, there's gotta be a fit where you, there's one voice and everybody's on the same page. Isaiah had an entirely different agenda. And you can't work in those situations. And I, I think he's bright and I think he felt he was doing the right thing, but he made it impossible for me. And that's no excuse. I mean, he didn't coach the team. You know, I was the coach. But I'm convinced if they would have kept me, we'd have won. You know, th things don't happen overnight. Right. You know, and I know I can coach, and I know I would have made that team better. The, the owner uh, was quoted after the fact as saying, uh, you know, something like you, you wanted to waive all the players from the roster, including uh, Stefan Marbury, which, you know, he said would have cost him, I think, like a hundred and fifty million bucks. W was there any truth to that with, you know, wanting to waive the I didn't, entirety? You know, I didn't say waive. I wanted to make changes yeah. that needed to be done. And look at what they did. Right. Who are those, who are the guys left? They got rid of those guys down the road. Um, I didn't bring them all there, you know, so I just know if they would have listened to me and trusted me, we'd have been great pretty quickly. I'm, I'm completely confident of that. But again, James Dolan was a great owner. Um, I just did a bad job of letting him know what I was about and how I felt a team should be built.